She was created to have dominion over the creation like the man. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. Now he made us his children. Mm. He made us in his image and mm. likeness to mm. operate like him mm. over the world that Amen. he has. Ye are gods and ye are the children of the most Amen. high. Hallelujah. Said, ye are gods, ye are children of the most. So we don't misunderstand that. Yes. And if we look at the, the cups, the case that was used, it was a small letter G. Hmm. Atmosphere of Love. Hello and welcome to Atmosphere of Love. I'm Apostle Edmund Sokhorde. Hello and I'm Prophetess Joanna Okorode. Wonderful. Today we're looking at identity your entity identity is your entity so don't be like that man who is poor who is not poor financially not about financial who is poor in the issue of who he is mm. who he should Means be who does not know his identity in mm. god how mm. how the creator created him yes. who does not understand his identity mm. he just lives like a mere man thinking i'm just a man you know sometimes we all have been we all would have come from that background of thinking i'm nothing i'm useless it's all because of lack of understanding of our identity yes. of how our creator created us yes can we get into identity? Yeah. Identity, your entity. So we're going to look at that. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn with us to Genesis chapter 1, verse, verse 26. 26. Yeah. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Mm. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing. That creeps on the earth, but mm. I want us to this really was God's give intent. yes a good uh, uh, light on. Let us make man in our image, mm. according to our likeness. Mm. What, does it, what does it really mean that people should really understand? Because right in Genesis, the beginning of the Bible, uh, God's uh, book, plan was book unveiled. Itself, he opened his plan that who we are in yes, him yes so if anyone can just understand only this statement all through the bible your life is fulfilled yes. yeah can we just put little light on let us make man in our image according to our likeness what it really it means, means when god spoke it means god wants the people to reflect his power to reflect his personality mm. to reflect his character so let's get into this thing yeah everything god created was created with the unique, unique identity. identity the identity is like his identity yeah nothing was simply created for fun without a clear identity mm. you know people All, talk about yeah. names you know people talk about their names they say what's your name so my name is wood i ask you what's the meaning of your name say wood well, what happened say wood what why why wood say i don't know i don't know the meaning of my name here we see Spirit of God is mm. teaching and he says with clear identity God created everything. Yeah. So you can't just throw, throw names at your children. Mm. You say why? It sounds nice. Clean, clear. Clean, clear. She's <laughs> called clean, clear. Uh, why? You say because it sounds nice. How can you name your daughter clean, clear? What is the meaning of clean, mm. clear? So I don't know. You know, that's very um, absent-minded ignorance mm. and satan will get into that and plunge your lineage with meaningless names yes. in the bible the people when they name their children they name their children according to the purpose of the child they name their children according to the uh, 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 potential of the child that is how we should name so everything must have a clear identity right. Right. Mm. all that the father created was aimed for a purpose and according to that purpose it was named and created, created. So everything that is created is named and being named with the right meaningfully, you mm. know, it, it denotes your purpose also. Correct. So your names has to do with your purpose. Yes. It's a label for, yeah. to function with. Yeah. It's very important because we see in the Bible, 
God uh, changing the names according to the purpose. Yes. You see, even Jesus, when mm. he came, his name was according to his purpose. Yes. It was not simply called Jesus because Jesus sound like Hebrew mm. word. Or, or sound nice. God of the Hebrew river. <laughs> yes. And they say, uh, why do you keep the name of a testimony? Can you read, please? So the Bible says, and God said, let there be. All he created had an identity. Yes. He will never group man together with the animals because he's the author of man's destiny. Mm. And he made man for, for a, a purpose. purpose. So you are made for a purpose. Yes. He clearly stated why man was created mm. the way he was mm. and what task he's given to man on earth, mm. dominion. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the function of our identity. Mm. And this dominion is to act just like God, yes. having a God kind of dominion. Yes. That's why he gave us. Yes. Yeah. This is the function of our identity. Mm. We are not higher animals. No, what I'm trying to say here is this. We are in a very serious, chaotic concept of identity. In the world. In the yeah. world. The human race is in chaos. They don't understand who they are. How could you say a human being is a higher animal? And this is the concept that is breeding idol worship. This is the concept that is making man to bow before stone, mm. to bow before wood, because it not understood themselves. Identity is the entity, it's everything about mm. you. If you miss your identity, you miss a big part of your mm. purpose in life. You yes. have to understand who you are. So we are not higher animals. So what about this scripture that the Bible says that you are gods that Jesus said? Now when he says you are gods, he's not speaking about deities. Yeah, he's being speaking about offsprings. Being children of God. Yeah, Ch offsprings. Yeah. We are born of, of God. God. Hallelujah. See, he said in that scripture, Psalm 82, from verse 1 to 5 and 6, he says, Ye are gods, and ye are the children of the Most Amen. High. Hallelujah. Says, ye are God, ye are children of the Most So we don't misunderstand that. Yes. And if we look at the, the caps, the case that was used, it was a small letter G. Hmm. It wasn't the capital, capital letter, letter G. G. And this is very important. When you write God with small letter G, it means man-made gods. Yeah. It when means you, not the true hmm. God. When you write God with capital letter G, it's Almighty God. It's Almighty God. Small letter G is man-made yeah, gods. So it's very important. Okay. So we are created according to Yahweh's image Hallelujah. and likeness Amen. to have dominion. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a function for yeah. us to have dominion. Hmm. It's, a, it's a destiny for us to rule and to reign. When people like power. Mm. It is not about politicians. Yes. It is we are created by that. It is like their that. inherent it quality to be like to our have creator. dominion. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, when when some wives wants to rule the family, um, it is in there. It is it is that dominion. It's just it that is she's yeah, it's channel but wrongly. There is order in a family. Yes. There is an order in the family. Yeah. Doesn't mean to say that the whole woman uh, must be subject to the whole man. <laughs> no, mankind. Really. It's not like that. Because dominion uh, in Genesis did not mean that you are dominion over each other. No. You are not dominion. It's, it's so creation. clear in the scripture, it's so clear in the scripture we saw that said dominion over the creation that yes. was created um, for both us. Of you, yeah. Both of yeah. them had equal because dominion. Because now he made us his children. Mm. He made us in his image and mm. likeness to mm. operate like him mm. over the world that Alleluia. he has created Alleluia. for us. Alleluia. So it's over the creation. But the whole mankind now is struggling mm. and running around, mm. uh, you know, breaking their head mm. to have equal rights that yeah. they already have. <laughs> and it's that problem in the world. They already have Women equal rights. trying to become like man, trying to be having 50-50 kind of rights <laughs> and privileges in the world. All this struggle is because of their lack of understanding of your identity, yes. how your creator, that yes. is God Almighty, created yes. you. Yes. You are bankrupt. Yes. Viewers, it's beautiful. It's getting very hot here in the studio. I and Prophetess Jonah will be right back in Atmosphere of Love. God bless you. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Be 
BTS has been amazing. It has helped me understand God's word better. BTS has been so amazing for me. Like I, I learn many things about love, uh, the Holy Spirit. BTS has been uh, a blessing for me, and uh, my life has changed to this uh, BTS. BTS and BTS made me to understand what the world is, and what is love means. All my final problems have been saved. I'm very much happy. BTS Basic Training Center organized uh, by uh, church was really, really nice. It has been, uh, um, it has been a blessing. It's been a life transforming. I attended the BTS classes and it's been really amazing. I'm grateful people have taken the initiative of starting the BTS classes and helping others to know the word of God. And the chapters that we studied in BTS has been really helpful to the enrichment course of BTS. It's really While helpful. I was going through this BTS class, I could see myself doing all that I learned, and it's really helped me to, and it's refreshed me, and and I know I'm going to do better, and I'm going to do great for all that I've learned, and uh, every in every area of my life, the things that I was thinking, and it's really. Hello and welcome back to Atmosphere of Law. We're talking about discovering your true identity in Christ Jesus. And today, we're reading from one of our wonderful best-selling books, Discovering True Identity in Christ Jesus. And we say identity is the foundation for a successful, victorious life. Mm. Now, we made a, 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 a foundation that uh, one of the reasons why um, couples are not able to live with one another it is because they don't understand one another. And you know, I want to say something. It's a shame for any Christian man to keep their wife in a box because they fear that they'll be more qualified than them or they fear that they'll rise somewhere and become uh, uh, something else. As a man of God in your family, when you know who you are, your wife's qualification cannot interrogate you. When you know who you are, your wife's ability cannot interrogate you. For where you are sitting was given to you by Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. And he made you head of your wife. You didn't apply to it. You didn't apply for it. You didn't ask for it. It was given to you by your joining that woman. Never get, I'm speaking to spouses, yeah. never get insecure <laughs> when your wife is making progress in ministry, when your wife is making progress in her career, when your wife earn more than you. Come on. You are the head. Amen. If she is the president of India, the president of America, the president of Nigeria or the world, she is your wife. When she comes in, she keeps that status right there at the door and becomes your wife inside the house. Someone say, please, pastor, preach it to them. If you are not insecure, that confidence will put her where she belongs. You don't need to tell her, you need to submit to me, you need to submit to me. You know, a lot of a lot of spouses they say that so this identity problem is causing problem in in this identity crisis yeah. there's a yeah. crisis in relationship because of this people are insecure because they don't know who they are yeah. they've not discovered the wonderful themselves they've not yeah so what is the origin of this crisis how it began with adam uh, it, you know it was crisis. the fall it was the fall when adam sinned there was a chaos because Adam started pointing blaming fingers at the woman. He said, it's the woman that you have given me that made me mm -hmm. sin. And when that started happening, he started putting someone below where she was created to be. I'm talking about Eve. So when he put Eve below where she was created to be, obviously the Bible says it was Eve that sinned, not Adam. But that has affected the whole human race till today. Woman has been placed in a place where she was not created to be. She was created to be equal with the man in dominion, spiritually. She was created to have dominion over the creation like the man. And she was created to be help to the man to accomplish her destiny. So, but then this whole thing was 
was was turned opposite because man sinned. When man sinned, the whole thing was turned opposite. Mm. So this thing has been affecting spouses. It affects relationship in in companies, in organizations. People just go against the females. Go against why? Because they feel they are they are nobody. They are second class citizens. They are not first class citizens. It ought but not, not to be so. But not just about female also. But uh, during that time of when Adam disobeyed God. Mm. Uh, even Adam lost his identity. Adam did, he lost not his one identity person. in mm. the sight of God, mm. and that was as a result of, you know, kind of uh, bankrupt. He was bankrupt by Satan. He was. Of first thing that was bankrupt was his identity in yes. God. Yes. He was God's very own creation, created for the glory of God. Now he runs away to reveal his glory. Now he runs away because his identity was no more in his heart. Mm. But God didn't see him like that. No, He saw him as his son, as 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 the one whom He created in yes. His image and likeness. Yes. But Adam was first, as you said, inferiority. That was the first thing that struck him, and caused identity crisis in him. Mm. So, if any one of them who are hearing, if you have an identity crisis, mm. uh, like uh, you you will have. No, like we, we can say like symptoms you know the symptoms are that they will have serious inferiority complex yes. computation spirit suspicion yeah computation spirit trying to survive loneliness distraction lack of focus and all these qualities comes out because you have an identity crisis yes. if you work out on your identity now how to work out on your identity don't be ignorant of who god has made you to be and that's why we look at it as so important subject to bring to you every christian must understand being a christian if you do not know who you are then what about the people of the world who god almighty created them how will they understand their identity if you being a christian do not know your identity so it's it's my passion that i we want you to understand and know who mm. you are mm. in christ jesus mm. Just knowing that, taking your place, who you are, your function, your responsibility, and the way outcome of your fruit as mm. a Christian mm. will change. Amen. It has to change because the truth is powerful. It the is. truth will make you free yes. when you understand who yes, you are. Yes, yes, it will, it will make you free. He said the word dominion, we have mm. to read first. He said the word dominion can be put in other words as power, authority, and a and the command. Yeah. The Father created us mm. to have the power, command, and authority over the earth. Yeah. And he says, you, you were created to represent God's power and, and authority, authority on earth. Wow, that's a very beautiful thought to think and meditate over again and again and again, you know. You were created to represent God's power and authority on earth. Yes. Christians think they are powerless. They don't have anything. You know, God really, you know, Bible really says that you, you, we were really poor in our spirit. And very, Jesus very really came to minister Arrested. to the poor. Mm. <laughs> he was anointed to minister to the poor. Yeah. Poor is not because you don't have money, you don't have gold, you don't have a house or a job. Poor is you are bankrupt of your spiritual identity in God. And that's a real poverty. <laughs> <laughs> to be Serious disconnected poverty. from your father. Serious poverty. That's because real. Identity is poverty. Off and no money is valuable. Yeah. Nothing has value. So the worst thing over here is now that you are connected back to your father, mm. and now that your spirit has gained access to your father, and if you do not know that, if you are born in a president's house, and you know your father is a president, and you you are ignorant about your identity as a son of a president how will you be how will you live your life just in one corner of this part of the country and just live without enjoying mm -hmm. all the rights and privileges he can give to you provide Suffering. for you how will that be that's how it is for a christian to suffer without knowing your identity so we have to understand and represent God's power Amen. and authority. Amen. Just like God on earth. And that's why being Christians, when we act like God, everything comes to us. Amen. Amen. Your words has power. Yes. The Bible says you are royal priests. Amen. It says you are kings. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus is King of King. yes. Kings. You know, yes. we are we are the kings and he is our king, Amen. king of kings. Amen. We are king. So if we go on with identity, we, our identity is very serious. But this basic foundation is so important. It's wonderful. It says here, yeah, what a destiny. Yes. What a honor. Amen. The enemy came in and distracted man and made man his slave for many thousands of years until man almost forgot God's original plan of dominion because he was accustomed to his self-inflicted slavery that he almost knew no other lifestyle. All through the many thousands of years, they've always struggled to make a community, yeah. to make a country. Because after make a Adam place. and Eve, before any generations came out of them, they were in this slavery yeah. bondage of mindset. Yeah. Yeah. In their mind, mm. they were poor, they were slavery yes. mindset. Yes, yes. Work yeah. and eat. So earn, earn. Yeah. See, no wonder is today the world has that mindset. It is rather is that of mean? struggle. Mm. Now there is a cry to return God's sons to their birthright Alleluia. of dominion. That's our your responsibility Amen. as a Christian. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you have to get back to that dominion place. Yes. Where we rule and reign. Yeah. Not we walk and earn. Mm. We earn our living. Mm. It's insult. Mm. Slaves earn their living. Yes. Sons of God should not earn their living. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't work and be responsible, but I'm talking about the mindset. Yes, in your mind. Slavery. Yeah. Mindset. After the sacrificial death of his first son, Jesus Christ, his blood is crying out all over the world, wherever God's sons are, rise and take your place of destiny. That's Amen. dominion. Amen. The father said, enough is enough. Let them be. Be. Amen. Return to your purpose and job description. Amen. That's your dominion. Amen. Learn now to take o over. Give the command and rule over earth with determination, knowing it is your birthright. And so many generations have died not entering it. You have to enter it. Satan must know that God has his very government right here on earth Amen. through your submission Amen. to his will Amen. and purpose Amen. hallelujah isn't not beautiful it's very wonderful take your dominion you see god is not going to take it yeah. for us we have to take our dominion mm. so does this cover spiritual power oh, it, it, it is spiritual is the main is the main. natural is the sh is it's, kind of shadow is the main <laughs> so which means that when we say sickness i command you in the name of jesus after understanding that we yeah. we have dominion with god yes Will it be acting with God? Yeah. It will be acting yeah, with because God. Because when you understand, the way you operate is very different. See, first when I underst understood my identity in Christ, it was so wonderful. The first thing I, I ever heard was, you are God's best. Amen. That I am God's best was a uh, breakthrough for me Amen. in my life. Because I was a victim of identity crisis. I was a victim of inferiority complex. and Because I tried to live according to world standard and it never gave me an identity. It gave me a, a kind of disorder in my mindset. But when I heard that I'm God's best, I was. it was a privilege a for me to know. It's a honor for me to yeah, know God's word, what Amen. he talks about me. Amen. But today I know that I'm a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. I'm a holy nation, Praise a generation God. that mm. has never been. Mm. A generation of Christ, Amen. God's inheritance. Amen. It's uh, we are kings. Hallelujah. Wow, so much, so much is there, you know. And we don't operate, and all this identity springs from my spiritual place because my father is a spirit, mm -hmm. and I am born of him. Mm -hmm. I am a spiritual being mm -hmm. because I live in this body. Hallelujah. So my operation is from the realm of the spirit, not just in the natural. Mm. So in the natural, how much ever you struggle and keep looking at your natural, how come I'm not living like a king? I'm not. I don't have. The biggest house in Bangalore. I don't have the uh, money like the politicians have. If you are thinking like that, you are operating wrongly. Operate from the spiritual. Yes. That's where your identity Hallelujah. is. That calls forth for natural thing to Amen. submit to you Amen. as a king. Glory Hallelujah. to God. This is wonderful. Say Amen. this prayer lines to, yeah. the, to There's the a prayer. Viewers. I want you to agree with me in this yes. prayer and pray with me. Say, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I accept your purpose, accept your of, purpose dominion of dominion in my life. In, my life. in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I encourage you today, this morning, continue to meditate on this. Amen. Your identity. Amen. If I just show you that. You have all the property and everything. Will you just leave it like that? You will go. You will come in search of me. 
<laughs> where is it you will come in such so i want to announce and declare and tell you today that god has an inheritance for you it's your identity Amen. and everything is attracted to you Amen. because he has written it everything is written in your name Amen. so it's a privilege and uh, begin to meditate today let Amen. your day meditate on your identity in god and things around you will begin to change hallelujah thank you we pray Amen. father in that dominion and power that you have given to us i command sickness to leave the body of our viewer, viewers <coughs> i command paralysis to stop immediately yes. Amen. I command harmful viruses to be flushed Amen. out of people's body yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus yes. Christ with power and authority given to the sons yes. of God I command Amen. you condition financial Amen. condition I command you to Change. be changed, changed in the name of changed. Jesus Christ Jesus. that man Amen. that I've been praying and asking God for a breakthrough Amen. for a job Amen. I command the job to come yes. true thank you father thank you Lord for this blessing today Amen. in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Wow, we've come to the end of today's broadcast. This is beautiful. Don't forget to request the book. Use the details that the announcer is going to give to you shortly. Mm. Discovering Your True Identity is a wonderful book. Use it. Use the detail and order for your book immediately and they'll rush it to you. And when we next we're coming tomorrow, you can just flow with us in it. Till we come your way next with the power of God yeah. and dominion. This is Apostle Edmonds and Prophetess Joanna saying to you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. BTS has been amazing. It has helped me understand God's word better. BTS has been so amazing for me. Like I, I learned many things about love, uh, the Holy Spirit. BTS has been uh, a blessing for me, and uh, my life has changed to this uh, BTS. BTS, and BTS made me uh, to understand what the world is, and what is love means. All my financial problems have been saved. I'm very much happy. BTS Basic Training Center organized uh, by uh, church was really, really nice. It has been, uh, um, it has been a blessing. It's been a life transforming. I attended the BTS classes and it's been really amazing. I'm grateful people have taken the initiative of starting the BTS classes and helping others to know the word of God. And the chapters that we studied in BTS has been really helpful to the enrichment course of BTS. It's really While I was helpful. going through this BTS class, I could see myself doing all that I learned, and it's really helped me to, and it's refreshed me, and and I know I'm going to do better, and I'm going to do great for all that I've learned, and uh, every in every area of my life, the things that I was thinking, and it's really. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.